Hey Gary, hey Tish, I'm over here at 909 Weston. His view of your street. We're in the Brookwood School District, which is a great elementary school district when you start your family. But let's see what we got going on inside, shall we? Walk in, you have a two story foyer. Arch entryways into a sitting room over here to the left. To the right, we have a formal dining room with trays. It's your fixture. Your chair molding here. You got chair and crown molding in here. Plenty of natural sunlight. Steps leading upstairs, but we'll get back to that in just a second. Come through your kitchen area. Have an island kitchen. Breakfast area leads to the pool. Have the staggered cabinets with the molding, Corian countertops. Your back, your your backsplash is tiled. In counter stove, dual ovens. Over off to the right here, let's see what we have. Now over off to the right of the kitchen this is a separate room which could be used for like an office space. It's closet space in there. It's access to the bathroom, but we'll go through this other room. So you can see what your restroom looks like on this floor. kitchen opens up into your great room here. Your fireplace, bookshelves all built in. Here's your fixture. View of the pool right here from the living room. The decorative glass. We'll check out that pool in just one second. Here's your view from the living room directly, or excuse me, from the great room directly into your kitchen. Now let's go upstairs see what we got going on upstairs. We're coming up. Wave hi to Brittany. <laughs> okay, so this is, I think, bedroom number one here. Oh, that's a little picture of Pac and Leah. The fixtures in here, your carpet looks to be newer. Here's your view from the two-story foyer over your living room. Parquet wood floors. That's your kitchen. Here's your view. Your fixture to the front door. Dual vanities. Here are your master. I think this is the master. No, this is the Jack and Jill. This is not the master. Now let's check this master out, shall we? Oh, nice vaulted. 
ceilings here in the master. Now here you can definitely have like a sitting area. Already kind of got it staged a little for the sitting area. Straight over here. The master bath. Jetta tub. Separate shower with the stained glass. Dual vanities. His and her. Images of the fixtures. Gold and silver fixtures. Let's see how. Oh no. Closets are pretty steep. Get you a quick view, quick snapshot of what we're dealing with. Here is the fourth bedroom. Now let's go downstairs and check out what that basement looks like. Now we're heading down to the basement. It's all carpeted down here. First from over to the right. Okay, this portion of the basement is not quite finished, but this is just a portion which is not finished here, which out, leads out to the yard. Let's see what the rest of the basement looks like. Now that's just that room to the right. Over here to the left, this whole area here is finished. Get some more light in here. All right. All right. This room is divided down here in the basement. We have two more rooms straight ahead. Well, one straight, another one to the right. So let's check this one out here to the right, which is your restroom. Have a full bathroom down here. And here's an extra room. It could be workout facility, movie room, office space. Spare bedroom for your guests. Really all depends on how you'd like to design and customize this. We have another room over here off to the left. We're going to peek through this door and see what we find. Okay, this is leading us back to the unfinished portion of the basement. So you have a portion that's finished and then a portion that's unfinished. Now this is all sectioned off. You can have an additional room over here in the room I'm standing in now. And over here off to the right can all be separate rooms. You just need to complete the walls down here. Let's take a step out back. Now this is out through one of the basement doors backyard back through this fence is the pool I'll shoot the pool in just one second but I want to kind of give you an idea of what it looks like just out that door we just came in from okay now we're out on the deck the deck has already been treated for you have a fenced in area here for your pool small area if you wanted to have your dog there'd definitely be room for the dog to be let out wouldn't have to go too far for your dog. Just beyond that fence is the other area I just shot that let us out just outside from the basement.
your neighbors next door. This is our driveway right here, just beyond that fence. So you can come and direct the fence, which lead right up to your kitchen area.